for me, being on stage is exactly that state of transcendence. It's to when normally when I'm singing, I'm in a kind of outer state of consciousness. So I don't even know what's happening. Yeah. The only thing I don't even see the people. The only thing I, I feel is the energy coming back to me. So I give and I'm trying to guide people like a kind of a mm -hmm. shamanic a shamanic experience and then when the audience is receptive and I got this energy back it's just like as we can elevate together so I feel just it's like a bliss it's like being in an, another dimension and after a gig I'm totally broke <laughs> and I think for me it's really important that kind of elevating meditating because i'm using a lot of frequency in the music and that's the idea that you start here with mm -hmm. a very low frequency and then you get up in your mm -hmm. body and then you end in your very brain there is something happening in your brain and that's exactly the state i'm in now because the last track is always a track i love to play because it's something that elevates even me i feel elevated by, by the thing and I think it's like it's not even me uh -huh. playing the music it's like we are all together like part of one energetic uh -huh. field yeah, uh, yeah also like one thing was quite interesting to say about like this last track is like it will never be released and never. and yeah. then it's just for the live so people will experience it only for the yeah. live uh, I don't see it at a meditation I see it like a as a kind of a hi-fi shamanistic initiatic trip you uh -huh. know it could be connected with the meditation but it's more a trip it's more a trip mm -hmm. but it for me like there's no places anymore where we could gather together and feel a communion and feel something together and feel that we are just elevating together so i feel that clubs are the places where we can do that you know it's the new clubs are the new churches mm, for me it's close to meditation because of the frequency but the intention is not the same i think it's much more connected with the modern society mm -hmm. because when you meditate all day i meditate since like eight years and i learned i've learned a lot about it but i think it takes you a little bit apart from the society i want to empower the people to go back to the society uh -huh. and be empowered and yeah. and feel that they don't they don't need to be standardized when people are dancing and people are feeling that strong feeling of love and that strong feeling of bounding that we are not enemy anymore you know you and me when we are dancing we are not enemy we feel exactly the yeah, same vibration the same thing. and through that vibration we can make peace and understand that we can elevate together and that's the idea mm -hmm. and i think yeah it's it's a kind of a cruising war against religion, against dogma, against uh, egocentrism, against all the standard standardization of the society. And I think it's a new era now. If you really think about music, what is music? Music is the primal scream. Mm -hmm. Music is the primal intention of ritualistic and communion with people. And like also when the more people, abstract language that yeah, we have. Universal and, and abstract. Yeah, and universal and, and abstract. When people did music like very long time ago, it was that idea to celebration. It was that idea, okay, someone is born, let's make music to rise up his energy and his soul, you know? It's a company to the soul of human. Music now is used as a kind of hypnose tool, you know? Mm -hmm. Like the pop music is used as hypnose people to make them buy stuff, you know, advertisement, buy this, buy this. Oh, you have a new car, uh, you know, like Mazda, you have a new, you know, I mean, <laughs> Mazda, I don't know, I don't know why that, that <laughs> what like that can, BMW or whatever cars, but I think music was deterred from its first initial primal uh, function you know and music was the turn from it and is used now as an hypnose for people to consume buy stuff mm -hmm. and being very slave of the society you know but i think music has the power to to liberate people i think i'm the new prophet <laughs> oh, wow, really? no but <laughs> no no honestly 
the a bit more of vodka maybe no 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 <laughs> what, what's really what's really interesting is that there is people making music and there's the media and there is the people who needs to put a name on what you are doing i think i'm just doing music with my my knowledge and with my heart and with my skills I'm learning every day. Yeah. Music is one of the first primal scream to have that ability to bring people together without any intellectual meaning, just to come back to a very simple feeling. are in a society of competition but that's the problem that's how we are corrupted because I think when the ego leaves when your ego leaves the light come and I think music has the ability to make us forget who we are as a competitive person but to bring us back to just as a human to just feel and to just bound with other and to just understand that we have the power of our physicality because everything is an intention mm -hmm. everything that we care about is energetic is invisible it's not material it's not about how much you possess it's and about how much you share with the people and i think that's what's music where music is really important mm -hmm. is that it's that en energetic feel that you connect with people and it's it's how you can really create a kind of new language a kind of new freedom you can even invent a new territory with music, you know what I mean? A new dimension, and that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. And the idea with the visual, actually we did a, um, a video game, actually, oh. when my album was released. And Two years and a half already. Yeah. <laughs> and the idea was, because with my music, I want to make people feel that they don't belong to an earth, like this is the ground mm -hmm. and this is the up and they have a body and they have a weight and with the music I'm trying to make them feel um, belong belonging to another dimension so they are forgetting about their physicality I'm working on the frequency so they don't even feel that they don't they have a but they feel that they have a body but they don't feel the weight of it you know they are a bit lost with the speciality speci speciality yeah, and I think when we produced the video game, it was even more to en enhance that idea, to make people lost about that idea, about what was reality. reality. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What's good, what's right, what's down, what's up. And the idea is to totally break that this idea you know also that's one really important thing with the visuals is like this maximalistic point of view where you have as much thing as real life kind of and like the fact that you look at the screen but finally the screen gives you as much as information that if you were in the street and you don't know where to look at and finally you it gives you a kind of same point of view closer to li real life. You know? And I like that idea that I'm really brutalizing the audience because I want them to get rid of everything they know to have that kind of 
like kind of a virgin field to induce something mm -hmm. new, you know? And I think it's like ayahuasca. When you take ayahuasca, you can have a revelation, but you have to puke mm -hmm. before. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's the idea and that's the intention. And I think uh, when I'm doing a show, that's the intention of really brutalize the people with the frequency and like cleaning. It's like a cleansing to even go to their bones because the frequency I'm using sometimes are so like... Uh, I know it, and I know it's really draining it. sometimes in the in the in the brain and sometimes in the stomach, and you can feel bad. But I want them to stay that there because there it's happening, and there I'm I'm trying to guide them. I have an album coming out. Yeah, <laughs> when I don't know when it's ready. No, uh, I mean you're you're working? You're already no, no, I finished work on it, and it's it was on the mastering today. Okay. So should be out sometimes in May maybe or something like that. We'll see. There's an album uh, that has to be released on Houndstooth, uh, the same label, label as I released the previous album, yeah. and they are fantastic. It's such an amazing lab this label. Rob Booth, uh, exactly. He's my... I mean, you know, sometimes you meet people who give you freedom because there are some label who are just trying to forge you mm -hmm. and 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 like trying to melt you into a mold but in this label i feel total free and of course i make the prejudices that we believe in many lives so i'm um i have i had that feeling and i had visions that we can have an impact on our DNA, on our everyday life, and we can change our DNA, meaning you can call it karma. I don't call it karma. I call it our everyday struggle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we, with our intention and with our energetic, how we built our energetic field and aura, we can have an impact on our past, present, and future. And that's our DNA. And I think we can decide as an intention who we'd like to be but who we went and who will be and I think that frequency and music can heal people. <laughs>